Amidst all of this Adam Levine drama, one thing I'm sure we can all agree on is that things aren't always what they seem, especially when it comes to celebrity couples. Adam Levine and his wife, Victoria's Secret supermodel Bahati Prinz Lou, wed in 2014 and went on to create quite the charmed life together. Not only do they share two children, they have a third on the way, and the family has also lived in some of the most gorgeous homes Los Angeles has to offer. Also, Michael and I have dropped our own house tour of our new home that we moved into this year. So so go ahead and subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. With this Adam Levine affair scandal swirling around the web, we all can't help but wonder why. The Maroon 5 front man and his model wife seem happily married with a growing family and living in luxury, but it appears that Levine can get a little restless. Take for instance his real estate portfolio. The superstar couple have a habit of buying and quickly selling multi-million dollar mansions, including a $33.9 million home in Beverly Hills they sold only a year later for over $42 million to Ellen DeGeneres, making a profit of $5.8 million on another home they only owned for about three months, and most recently, selling their beloved Pacific Palisades estate. Levine and Prinsloo were sure to grab another trophy property before letting go of their other home though, dropping $52 million for a custom estate in Montecito, built in 2009 for actor Rob Lowe. Hey everyone, it's Care the Vampire Slayer, and today on Famous Entertainment, we're checking out Adam Levine's extravagant family homes. Now let's get into this video. In March 2022, Adam Levine and Bahati Prinsloo embarked on their latest real estate adventure when they dropped a whopping $52 million on their current Montecito mansion. If the pass is anything to go by though, the pair always seems to make a major profit when they flip their homes back on the market. This sprawling estate is called Oakview and was custom designed and built in 2009 by Don Nulty for actor Rob Lowe and his family, but Rob had already sold the place in 2020 to a big wig in the healthcare industry. This mansion, which is built in a somewhat east coast style, offers a large motor core out front of the main house and towering columns before stepping foot inside. Interiors offer a massive 10,000 square feet with six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and three powder rooms, and that's only in the main residence. Property also holds a guest house with two beds and two baths, as well as a pool house with a bed and bath. While the home was built in 2009, it was redone and modernized as recently as 2019, and you'll find the spaces are chic yet relaxed. There's a large formal living room with fireplace that opens up to the outside via large glass doors, while a similar layout can be found in the other family room. These common spaces, along with some of the others, feature rich wooden floors underfoot and high ceilings. Over in the family kitchen, there's a massive center island with bar-style seating and commercial-grade stainless steel appliances. There's also a cabinet casual dining nook off to one side and what looks to be a large butler's pantry. Other rooms in the new Levine family home include a second floor games room, which also served as a library and a top of the line home theater. One of the nicest looking spaces in the mansion might just be the outdoor living room, which is completely covered, boasting a massive white brick fireplace, plush sectional seating, and a flat screen TV. The home offers multiple patios in fact, many with views to the ocean and shaded spaces to eat and lounge. Also out back, there's a sprawling rolling lawn, a zen water feature, a swimming pool, and a sunken tennis court. All in all, the property spans just under 3.5 acres and is situated in Montecito, an area in Santa Barbara County of California, between the mountains and oceans, and it's much loved by celebrities. While Adam and Bahati invited Architectural Digest into their Pacific Palisades home only last year in August 2021, since then the the couple has already listed and sold that place. They bought this home for just under $32 million back in 2018 from former couple Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner and proceeded to customize it to suit their tastes. Located in the exclusive Riviera neighborhood, this Hollywood pedigreed spread sat on three acres of land and offered a 9,000 square foot main house with a total of 10 beds and 14 bathrooms. In fact, the total square footage added up to a whopping 16,000 square feet because there was also 
also a four bedroom guest house with full kitchen and living areas, as well as a separate structure with a yoga, gym, and office inside. Listing materials from when the space was formerly for sale explain that the multi winged single level main home was originally designed and built in 1940 by architect Cliff May, who's the man behind the California Rancho style, which is a classic. Reportedly, this was also a draw for Levine, who's a self proclaimed fan of architecture. There was an area in nearly all white great room once stepping foot inside with high beam ceilings overhead and a built in fireplace on one wall. This modern and chic space also had large French doors leading to the outside and nearby there was a den with large flat screen TV that doubled as a bar room also offering a marble fireplace. Their spacious kitchen boasted a neutral color scheme, top grade appliances and opened up to a large dining area with built in buffet and space to entertain while there was a second and even larger dining room nearby. Walls of glass throughout many of these common rooms allowed you to flow between the indoors and outdoors seamlessly in true California fashion, as well as offering views from LA to the ocean. Adam and Bahati's former master suite was a definite oasis, offering up dressing room style closets, one for him and one for her, as well as an attached bath decked out in stone with double vanities, a sauna, and private wet room with soaking tub and shower. Another bonus in the home, which the family loved to utilize, was the large games room that doubled as a movie theater. This space was furnished with a large sectional with room for everyone, as well as Dolby brand home movie equipment and a handful of arcade games. Outside, aside from the fully stocked guest house in the wellness building, there were of course other amenities on the grounds, including a basketball court, chicken coop, and a handful of walking paths amongst the picture perfect lawns. The swimming pool and spa back here were fit for a resort and elsewhere you would find multiple patios and terraces, including one with a sunken lounge built around a fire pit. While the couple hoped to get over $57 million for this home, they settled on selling it for $51 million, still turning a healthy 19 million dollar profit on this stunning property. We know that Adam Levine and Bahati Prinsloo are fickle when it comes to real estate, but let's hope that their shared passion for flipping Los Angeles mega mansions keeps their marriage going strong throughout these scandals. I also wonder how long they're going to stay put in their current Montecito spread. Well, that's going to bring this house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought of Adam Levine and his family's homes and which you preferred out of the two that we saw. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.